think your CCTV cameras are just watching over you? Think again. In this eye-opening video, we reveal how hackers exploit security cameras to take full control of it, invade your privacy, and monitor your every movement. Stick with us to find out how you can safeguard your cameras and your peace of mind. Today, we will explore a detailed analysis of how hackers have been compromising security cameras for the past decade. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to stay up to date with the latest hacking news from us. One of the prime ways hackers can get your private info and exploit it is by hacking your security cameras. With this technique, they can easily watch you anywhere and anytime, in your private and secure places. They even gain access to your most guarded lockers and learn about them. Moreover, if the security cameras also have audio functions, they can listen to your talks and access data you do not know about. This is very dangerous and tricky, so you must keep yourself from them. You need to see how they hack your CCTV cameras using various methods. CVEs, or Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, play a pivotal role as hackers' primary point of attack is manipulating them. Vulnerabilities are flaws built into your system. Various exposures are not built in. Exposures are point at risk of being exploited, such as open ports, weak credentials, and misconfigurations. Vulnerabilities and exposures are most targeted and exploited in cyber attacks. Open ports are the first and easiest way hackers can access security cameras. Open ports are referred to as TCP or UDP port numbers that are configured to accept packets. Open ports are part of the internet communication system and thus allow applications to send and receive applications. They are easily hacked, unpatched, or misconfigured if not protected by strong firewalls an integral part of the internet's communication model. They must be protected or otherwise closed to protect against foreign and unwanted attacks. The hacker first sneakily enters the network of which the CCTV camera is a part. After getting access to the network and cracking the Wi-Fi key, the hacker's next step would be to use his device systematically to access your security system without warning. He will gain primary information such as IP address, MAC address, or the manufacturer name of the security camera. Different tools can be used to do that. For example, the ARP scan tool on Kali Linux will be handy in such a case. Similar tools include Nmap, NetScan, Kala SoftMax Scanner, etc. After he uses one of the tools and rightly configures them to give him the specific details of the network and the devices working in the network, what he can do is note the name of the device Check it on the internet if that is the device camera that he is looking for, and make sure that this is not any other of the devices. This is so because the product names vary. Sometimes, a single name offers different product, which could be more accurate. This is why hackers spend most of their time searching for information and precise data about their target. After getting the device's basic data, the hacker must find open ports and enter the system via the open port. This procedure can be explained by imagining that the open port is like an open door or window through which a thief can enter unannounced and unchecked. And then, the options are limitless. Finding the open port can be easily done by using the target IP address previously found along with the name of the device and using MMAP to find the open ports. NetMapper gives the running devices and services working in a network. So, open and close ports are automatically shown. The MMAP service gives a report showing different ports. According to the port number, the hacker enters the system. The port number is important in how the hacker enters the system. If the port supports HTTP requests, the camera system can be accessed using that specific port number from the browser, such as port 80 or 85. Different extensions on the internet work for exploring the ports, but internet explorers can do that well. On that extension, the hacker just needs to write the IP address of the device, the colon, and the port number of the open port from where he will access the security system. From there, a window shows up on the screen asking the username and password of the device. Here, another exposure comes into play. Weak credentials play an important role as they easily hand over the security system to the hacker. It becomes very easy for the hacker if the name and password are easy to guess, short, and weak. Some people do not even need to change their original username or password, but you must keep it strong and updated so as not to let hackers easily try to access your system. Entering the correct username and password in the window 
will display the camera screen that was trying to be hacked. Afterward, the hacker can easily change its settings, keep a watch from his computer, or store and manipulate data according to his choice. In the last step, brute force attack and spoofing attack can also come into play. A brute force attack is when a hacker applies the trial and error technique to guess your password and username to cyber attack your camera correctly. Trying multiple variations of passwords and usernames to access a system is called a brute force attack, which a hacker might do to enter a system forcefully. On the other hand, spoofing attacks are when a hacker gets the credentials by impersonating an authorized person or a known person of the victim. The hacker can get out sensitive information such as secret PINs or passwords. So, be careful of fake calls in hacking attempts. Moreover, if the port number does not support HTTP requests, those port numbers will not work, and the request will be rejected. Instead of the username and password windows, the This Site Cannot Be Reached site will be displayed on the screen. That is why detailed information about the port numbers is necessary for the hacker to perform the hack. For example, port 554 supports RTSP, so the hacker can access the security system. RTSP is a real-time streaming protocol that allows a VLC media player to play RTSP remotely. VLC can be done on the Internet Explorer web page, or if the attacker uses Kali Linux, the VLC media player can also be installed there using the sudo apt install vlc command. After installing VLC media player on the Kali Linux, he will just write VLC on the command line and hit enter to get the VLC media player running. VLC can even be installed on the browser normally, as anything else needs to be installed. From the VLC, he can go to the media option, open the network stream, and use the IP and port number to access the security camera remotely without the user's notice. Now, imagine if the camera screen shows sensitive information about you, your family, or any data a hacker would love to access. You may not want that. So, what can you do in that regard? First, you must confirm that your username and password are highly secure and hard to access. Strong passwords include a capital letter, a small letter, a special character, and a number. In today's digital world, weak passwords are not protected much because they are a weak shield against hacker attacks. Secondly, you need to update your device's firmware because the developers keep upgrading the flaws of the previous versions. So, you need to occasionally update the manufacturer code or the camera's firmware to minimize the chances of attacks. Another excellent way to stop a hacker is by restricting remote access. Restricting remote access is a feature used by companies holding extremely sensitive information. Restricting remote access will allow only the pre-specified IP addresses to log in. Any device from another area outside the company cannot log into the system, even with the correct password and username. Also, seeking professional help occasionally will prove fruitful because professional scans pinpoint and solve the issues we overlook. Thus, CCTV cameras secure you, but you must secure them first to stop hackers from interfering with your matters. Now, you know what hackers do to your security systems by exploiting vulnerabilities and exposures in your system. These are the attacks that hackers intend to make and use your data for their purposes. Suppose you liked the video you just watched. Like it and subscribe. Stay safe and see you next time.